welcome back to Machora's Mask. Um, I was literally about to say I can't remember where we need to go next specifically, whether it's the mountains or the lake, but I guess that clears it up. Let's go to the fucking mountains. Simple as that, I guess. Um, I, I, like the thing that's worrying me a little bit about this whole experience, right, is that there's a lot of masks in this game. Most of them are optional. But it will annoy me if I don't get them. So the qu my question for myself becomes, how much do I care? And I, 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 I'm concerned. I'm concerned about my own um, desperate need to 100% a game that I have actually no surface level desire to 100 What the fuck? Oh, I didn't know that. I spent so much money on magic beans and now they're all gone. Do you, do you really have to go back to the fucking swamp? Like, on the regular in order to buy magic beans? Is that really a thing? I, I mean, I should have seen it coming, realistically. I know I should. But I didn't. And now I've gone done fucked it, haven't I? Also, I don't think we've played... We need to play the fucking thing, don't we? Um... Is that not it? That's it. I did it. I did it. Yeah, I want. I need to slow this. Need to need need to do that. That's what I need to do. You might notice I'm a little bit out of it today. I've I've basically just woken up and decided to play some Majora's Mask. So. Uh, if it seems like I'm just talking even more gibberish than normal, that, that's my excuse this time. Oh, I can't believe I lost all my beans. Oh, hello. Hello, mystery hole. What's in the mystery hole? I'm hoping there's going to be multiple places where I can buy beans. That's sort of my... my, my... Words are failing me. Again, I, I can't speak properly today. That, that's that's my, my hope, that's my dream, that there's going to be multiple locales of Mr. Bean Salesman. I mean, I know I can buy them from the Deku Scrub who's also in the swamp, but even that seems like quite a bit of a detour to go to. I guess I can just fly there with the Song of Soaring though, right? Oh, okay. We don't want to attack those. I understand now. I have learned. I've learned from my failures and lack of experience, and I will uh, endeavour to improve in future. Yep, nope. Wow, okay, we, avoiding those is more difficult than it looks. Okay, can we actually get through here? Can we actually get through here, though? Can we, like, make this dude blow up on this boulder? Does, is that an option? No. That's a... What that is, is a fence that we need a pony to jump. So, I mean... I guess we could go and try and get a pona, but I seem to remember that being quite an involved thing. I'm not even certain if this is the way to the mountains either. It seems like it should be, right? There's four cardinal directions. So it would it would make sense if uh, one were to lead towards the mountains. Um, there is this direction as well, however, that also looks like it leads towards the mountains. There's also, um... There's also a little bit of a, uh... Big, big lizard here. Yeah, that's what they do. I remember now. I remember their deal. Um... Slash, roll away. I'm, I'm in too much of a Dark Souls mindset. We don't want to roll away, we want to block away. That's what we want to do. tell it's been a while since I last played a Zelda game. But the last Zelda game... No, the last... I, I tell a lie. The last Zelda game I played was uh, the Link's Awakening remake. Um, but prior to that, the last one I would have played is uh, Breath of the Wild, which obviously plays drastically differently. And obviously, so does... Uh, 
so does the Link's Awakening remake. So the last one I played in this sort of style would probably be like when I tried to replay Twilight Princess about four years ago. Five years ago, probably, in fact. I mean, that was that was some nice cash, but I was kind of... I don't know why I was hoping for some, some fat rewards from that. I feel like there is... Uh, something... I don't know if it's if you kill all the Dodongos. I'm sure there's something involving killing the Dodongos around here. I guess we can give it a go, right? Oh. Fuck. Fucked it. Fucked it. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. I know what I should be doing is jump attacking this tail, but I'm nowhere near confident enough with the, uh, the battle mechanics right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take the easy option here. I'm fully prepared to be completely wrong about this, by the way, that killing the Dodongos isn't for anything. I did just notice there's a song printed on the wall though, so that's probably something worth doing, and removing this Dodongo from the vicinity will make that a little bit easier, so. What's it? Does it does it actually not like Give me a little cutscene anything when I when I whip out the old ocarina in front of that. What does it say? Down a left up up left a right. Down a left up up left a right. Down a left up up left a right. Oh, wow. Cool, I guess. Three rupees. How exciting. Oh, there's another one. I, I actually don't know if this is doing anything for me. Should we just see what's down this hole instead? Oh, okay. I think I might be thinking of this. If we kill both of them in here, we get something. I'm not about to try. And take two on at once when I'm on half a heart, though. That seems like a silly boy thing to do. This one's smaller. That one's smaller, right? Am I insane? That one looked smaller. I could very easily be insane. I'm not I'm not denying that. It's a distinct possibility. In case you're wondering what that block was, I was fully expecting this to happen. So uh I was just trying to mem remember which my block button was. Good source of hearts, though. Good source of hearts, for sure. Liking these fellas. See, I know we've been told to go to the mountain. I can't help but notice that there is a beach, right? Oh, no, we can't get to the beach either without without a pony, right? Huh. Where can we go right now? I guess we just have to go get a Pona. There doesn't really seem to be much else we can do until we can jump over the uh, the opponent fences. I didn't remember having to get a Pona this early. Is is my my thing, right? I've I played the beginning of this game a few times, and I remembered getting a Pona sort of mid game ish. But it seems like I need her now. Uh, I just need to remember where the fuck she lives, I guess. Terminator Field isn't massive, so like there's a there's a relatively uh, small selection of places she could possibly be. Is this the ranch or is this the swamp? I honestly can't remember if this is the swamp or not. Milk Road ahead, Romani Ranch. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is what we want. This is what we want. I do feel like we can probably get bombs as well, is a thing. I I, I, I assume they would be in the temple, but then I, I think about that last time we played, that person in town was all like, oh yeah, we, I can give you a bomb bag if you help out my grandmother, basically. That was the whole shtick. Bomb and track, horseback riding expo is beginning, welcome. Please drop in at your leisure, okay. I don't think that's where we want to be. I think that's a place we go once we've... Uh, successfully um, got a pony. Just grab this real quick. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 
I... For a long time, right, I was a guy who swore by inverted controls. Up is down, down is up. Uh, for first person games. And then at some point, I, I played a game, like, on my mate's console or with their settings or something, and they had non-inverted, and, like, in that one session, I, like, completely changed how I play video games, and now I can't play inverted anymore. And since these games aren't naturally inverted, it confuses the fuck out of me every time I pull my bow out. What's this? Green clothes, white fairy, so could you possibly be uh, one of the... Yeah, we've, we've, we've heard this already. I just kind of want to buy your map, honestly, dude. I've got so many rupees. I'm so fucking rich. Can I, can I have your map? Romani Ranch. Thank you. Do I buy the Great Bay one as well? Well, no. The, the, the map of the area you're in is always cheaper, so it makes sense to only buy it when you, when you get there. See, the problem we have here... I think we have to come back later, right? Yeah, I think maybe we have to wait a day or so before he removes that. Which means we can't get a pony yet, either. Can't go over there without a pony, and just to double check, I'm assuming we can't go in this direction without a pony. Piss off. Like, actually piss off. No. <laughs> no, I just wanted to go this way. I just happened to be rolling past your statue, that didn't mean I wanted to interact with you. Okay. Hello, you very strange individuals. What do you want? You know what this place is? It's the Gorman Brothers Horse Training Center. You got no business here if you ain't got no horse, now beat it. Okay. Why don't you buy some fresh milk? It's between you and me. That milk they produce down at Romani want Ramoni is watered down a bit. Not worth drinking. <laughs> We don't do that kind of thing here. Ours is the real deal. It's always fresh and full of vitamins. It's true. Sell it cheap for you. How about it? No thanks. It's weird that milk is like a, an analogue for alcohol in this game. Because the milk bar that you can't go in unless you're over 18. And this guy's like, oh yeah, they water down their milk and everything. It's it's odd because it heals you. I, I, what I'm saying is Majora's Mask promotes alcoholism and I won't stand for it. There's going to be thousands of children out there. Thousands who became... Hardened alcoholics because they uh, they played Majora's Mask once. The problem we got now, right, as I see it, the current issue of the day is we can't really go anywhere without a pony, <laughs> and we can't get a pony without time advancing. I could go buy some magic beans and get that chest there, but I mean, looking at the chest, it's definitely just a few rupees, and it's definitely not worth it. It'd be nice to have some magic beans on hand anyway. The only thing I'm thinking is if we look at the map, there's like a path that goes over the top of where we fought the Dodongos. I hate the way the arrow does that. The arrow on the map twitching back and forth when I'm spinning, but I'm pretty certain this is the fast fastest means of movement I have right now. Until I get the Goron mask anyway. God, I'm so rich. Yeah, can we like hang on, there's a hole there. Let me just let me just check out this hole real quick. Oh, it's just a <laughs> It's just a family of eyeball statues. Okay. Cool. I didn't like the ominous humming of the background ambiance in that in that area either. Yeah, this is definitely... No, we need Goron to roll over this, don't we? We need to launch over here as a Goron. So this is presumably for Lee? Wait a second. There's a ramp. Don't mind me, lad. I missed this. <laughs> it does, however, look like we need... Fire arrows, maybe? Do we need fire arrows for this? Or can we just, like... Okay, that did something. Shit, missed. Well, touche. 
Touche. We can go this way after all. I'm glad I double checked this because I would totally have just gone back to Clock Town and killed time for a day and then gone to Romani Ranch and fucked about there, but turns out we could have gone this way the whole time. Hello. Never did like these things. Whoa, how many hits do you take? What the fuck, dude? Yeah, I believe this is the way to the Goron City. Um, so this is where we want to be next. So that, that kind of works out for us. I, I really didn't think I'd be able to shoot that icicle down. I thought I needed fire arrows for that. So, uh, good thing I experimented. Oh, there's, there's hearts in the snow. Okay. Having said that, how the fuck do we get past here? Yeah, what's up, Tal? This is no good. We could just blast these snowballs out of the way. We could get through. Well, we can't, Tal. That's the problem. We can't do that. So we... Hmm, we do need bombs. Where do we get bombs from? It can't be a case of you have to do a minigame, right? Surely. That can't be a thing. This is actually really cool. This, like, even though I have played through most of this game, I would say, um, in the past, I really don't remember it super well. So being back here, like, all these years later, and trying to sort of piece together what to do, honestly feels like playing a classic Zelda for the first time for me, and it's 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 a very cool experience, because you just don't get the, these sort of, like... Dare I say, slightly confusing. Oh, we can hit them twice. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, fuck. He spanned the wrong way. Or the right way for him, I suppose. Wrong way for me. Oh. Oh shit, that's done so much damage to me. I can't. <laughs> I, I didn't realise how much damage I was taking. I was like, oh yeah, I can, I can, if I'm only getting hit once by them, I'll totally trade that for like three free hits. But let's go back to the safe approach here, shall we? Oh fuck. Oh, I'm so dead. I am so dead. Did I kill one of them? Or is it just like wandered off into- yeah, it's wandered off into a corner, okay. Okay. This seems to be the way to do it, to just alternate between them, so that I- neither of them ever have a chance to breathe fire on me. Oh, cool, got one. Kind of hoping it would explode and hurt the other one, but... I'm sure I get something for taking both of these dudes out. Beyond the the big rupee dump, anyway. Sure, a chest spawns. It's, it's only going to be like a heart piece or something, but... I mean, heart piece is pretty cool. It better not just be a chest with more rupees in it, or else I'm going to be fucking furious. <laughs> Got him. A There's a golden chest, so it's got to be something more than rupees. Fuck yeah, score. Guess I'll take five rupees. <laughs> Right, okay, so that's that's that. We, we've achieved something today, at least. I, I really need to work out where to get bombs, though. I'm assuming it's not going to be in the swamp. I feel like we're fairly thorough in the swamp. There's a couple of bits we haven't done, but obviously we're somewhat limited in what we can do there at the moment. So it's got to be in Clock Tower. Clock I keep saying that, Clock Town. 
It's got to be in Clock Town, realistically. Because without bombs, we cannot progress with the game right now. So let's let's give Clock Town another once over. Um, not much in this region. Hey up, dude. I know there's something to do with that postman, but I don't know what. So there's the mini games, there's the milk bar, there's the mayor's office. There's also the inn. This is the inn, right? Are you the inn? Yeah, you're the inn. I feel like there's something you can do in here as well. And here's someone stomping about. Oh, hello. It's you. I know you. You're from the the other game. Can we talk? Not until you stop moving, huh? All right. Welcome to the Stockpot Inn. Uh, did you have a reservation? Yes. You do have a reservation. That's good. Mr. Joe, is it? One moment, please. Mr. Joe, I have you down for an afternoon arrival. What? <laughs> Wait, hang on. Why do I have a reservation? Your room is our knife chamber on the second floor. Here's your key. You're not sure why, but you apparently had a reservation. Huh. Please relax. That's... sus. Also, I don't think I went upstairs when I came in here last time. I think I just completely ignored the fact that there was an upstairs, so this could be fun. Is this the knife chamber? No, this is out to the top, top floor. Okay. Oh, hello. Who might you be? Hmm, no, well, that won't work. No, that's too basic. Oh, the dancers. Yeah, I, I remember the dancing mask that makes you dance. I assume you get that from there. Wait, what did that say? Employees only know men's, okay. Fair enough. Is this my room? Is this the knife chamber? That's just going to be a chest full of rupees. I don't really want to open it when I've already got four rupees. Fuck it. Oh, it's a hundred rupees. Oh. I should have deposited them before I came in here. Oh, well, whatever. I think rupee chests respawn, right? So... I might be completely wrong on that, but... <gasps> My bro! Do-do-do, do-do-do, don't speak to her right now. She hasn't finished her new dance for the town's carnival. Even though the song is finished. I'm going to speak to her if I want to speak to her. You can't stop me. Peter's very good at it. Maybe we should spin some spins. What? Just wanted to join in. <laughs> I'm so glad this song exists in this game somewhere. It's so good. Nothing in here then, okay. I don't know what their deal is particularly, but it's not my deal. Is there more beyond here? No, it doesn't look like it. Think up a good acrobatic routine. Get on it. That's what you're paid to do. Fucking nerds. I forgot about the toilet. Um. Yeah, you just allow us to skip the time of day, right? Oh, tortoise. Did you finish helping father? Then let mother read you a story. And what story would you like to hear? Uh, none. Thanks. Oh, that's Andrew's grandmother. Okay, interesting. I guess that makes sense. She doesn't just have a random old woman hanging out in her inn, but... There was a different woman on the reception when I came in uh, on the final day, though, right? It wasn't Andrew. I don't know where she is right now, but... Doesn't seem like there's much we can do in here. I know we can consult the bomber's notebook to know exactly what the people we uh, we have information on are going to be doing at different times of the day. Oh, you weren't here before either. 
Welcome, do you have some business? The room on the left is the mayor's room. It sounds like they're having some kind of meeting, I think. The room on your right is also the drawing room and it's also the Madame Aroma's office. Ah, oh, who's Madame Aroma? Is that the mayor's wife? Oh no, it's a fish. Oh no. <laughs> Are you the... F Are the fins damp lately? The that's the greeting used among us Zoras. Oh, forgive me, I'm Toto, manager of the band of the Indigo Goes. I'm out of business cards, so a Zora greeting will have to do. The Indigo Goes is the popular group that we Zora are so proud of. They put a lot of songs... What? One of their hits is the Ballad of the Windfish. You know that song, don't you? Hmm? You don't? Really? Even one that famous? Hmm. You'd be able to hear it if the show wasn't cancelled. It's such a shame. Oh, meeting all the people. Oh dear, are you on a field trip? Or are you the expert person finder I hired? Yes, 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 I say. You have the face of a pro, even though you're clearly seven years old. The characteristics of a person I want you to find? Yes, yes, I know them. The person I want you to locate is my son, Cafe. You know him, don't you? You don't, really. He disappeared about a month ago. It's terrible. I'm so very worried. I can't get food down my throat. I've lost five pounds, I can tell. You haven't heard anything, though. Oh dear. Well, would you go look for him? Sure. <laughs> Oh my, of course, you are an expert. Well, I'm counting on you. I know who this dude is. He's the dude walking around with the mask on. Okay, okay, we're going to take that and talk to him, I think. Because I know where he is. At least I know where he usually is. There's a building that he hangs out in. Okay, this argument just goes on for three fucking days, apparently. Not anything exciting to see there, I suppose. But that's something. That's something we discovered. And I mean, now... Now I can become pretty. Look at me. Look how gorgeous I am. Oh, 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 the dogs are roused. The dogs are roused, ladies and gentlemen. This is, uh... I've <laughs> just running around in circles. I'm very distracted by the dog standing at my door and barking for absolutely no reason. Floyd, what's your issue, dude? What's your issue? I mean, I know you've got a lot of them, but specifically, what's this current issue? Yeah, I believe my friend Cafe. Ca Cafe? 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 He hangs out around these here parts, I believe. Is it like you do that and he comes out? Yeah. Hey. Hey, look. I'm you. Hey, look. Hey, look. Look, I'm you. I'm you. I'm you. Hmm. Interesting. I thought maybe that's what we did. I knew, I knew that was what happened if you rang that bell. He came out and looked around and then ran away again. Um... But, uh, yeah, it doesn't appear like the me mask helps much. It's like he's having, like, a romantic affair or something, right? Which is weird, considering he's clearly also, like, seven years old. And you have to, like, bring his, his girlfriend to him or something. I can't remember exactly how it works, but there's some shit going on. Uh... Let's consult the old bomber's notebook, because I'm struggling here. Uh, where? Where? Oh, there it is. Okay, these have ribbons on them, so I assume that means they're done. And you... Oh, we can only get that key at this... I got really lucky there. I came in at just the specific time. Enter at night. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. We're actually on track to do something there. Old lady from the bomb shop, okay. Um, alright, oh okay. I thought it was telling me to show the mask to her, but... Yeah. We could show it to the, the mayor, I guess. Something going on with the postman, like, right now, apparently. And the suspicious brothers. Something happens with him at night as well. Okay. Seems like we kind of need to hang out till night time then. 
Oh god, I've just noticed that I didn't think there was anything on this timeline, but there's just a teeny tiny little slot, which I guess is when we need to save her from getting uh, from getting mugged. Oh god, we got a busy schedule then. A lot of things to do, but very little to do like right now. I guess we could try like a mini game to pass some time. I know the uh, the chest one didn't prove super exciting, but. Ah, cafe, eh? He hasn't come here. Oh. If you think you can do it, why don't you give it a try, Sonny? As many red ones as you can within the time limit. If you hit a blue one, you lose the game, so watch out. You can use as many arrows as you like. Press B to shoot them. The highest score is 39. If you can break the record, you win a spectacular prize. That one in the front's a blue one, we don't want to hit that. Okay, not going bad so far. Okay, that was a lot quicker. Oh shit, there's another one. Fuck. It's a good thing hitboxes are so fucking generous in this game, or else I would not stand a chance. are starting to get a lot trickier. I nearly hit one there, fuck. What's the high score? 39? Oh, did I just tie it? Oh. Okay, okay, I can do better. I needed to get one more point. You think tying the, the, the world record will be worth something, but I guess not. What the fuck? Well, those, uh, those particle effects are fucking up now, aren't they? <laughs> Game isn't happy with me playing this anymore. Hopefully that won't have any like major impact on the game. I thought that was the one when there was one off to the right. Hit him. Thank you. Okay, this is going fairly, fairly well thus far. Oh, I'm getting pretty good at this. If I do say so myself, which I do. Oh, good thing, good thing. I just straight up panicked then when I nearly hit that blue one. I was just like, I'm just not going to shoot any more arrows. <laughs> well, look at that. You hit 42. That's a new record. Here you go. Okay. Okay, that's not what I came in here for, but I will take it. I will take it. That is a that is a haul right there. Right. Game sorted, I suppose. Uh, how are we doing for time? I see the sun is starting to go down. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Want my bow back, please. It's because instead of Eleanor, it's Zedanar. To scroll through this, and it's very confusing to me. Okay, okay, it's getting later. It's like midnight when she has her issue, though. There's going to be a few things we can do in like an hour or so, though. Let's go do another mini game. Oh, hello. Who are you? You walk incredibly slowly. Do we not? Do we not talk? Oh, we do. It's a hard world to live in, Goro. Ah, okay. Well, I guess you don't give a shit. I guess we're not friends, that's fair enough. I understand. I'm not one of you. Ah yes, these guys had a mini game as well, even though they called themselves a shop. What? 
What did they just say? He doesn't seem to have a bomb bag. I can't play today. Okay, I guess they cycle games. I guess that's a thing they do in here. But I need a bomb bag to play. Where the fuck am I going to get a bomb bag? I want to pass through here, you need to say the secret code. Uh. Mm. I was just thinking, because these guys are called the Bombers, that maybe they might have a bomb bag for me, but then at the same time they... they they're kind of showing us done in the Bombers notebook, right? Right? Oh no, there is a second quest line, apparently. I'm assuming that's what that means, because there's, there's two rows. Is there something we need to do inside the bomber's hideout? The fact that that's a thing? Hmm, I don't know. I mean, there is stuff we can do inside the bomber's hideout once we have the bomb bag. But that's where things get tricky, isn't it? Because I don't have the bomber's... Uh, the bomb bag. The bomber's bomb bag. <laughs> oh what, oh what doth I do? I don't really care, honestly. Just, just chat your shit. Don't know why I talked to them. I was certain they wouldn't have a quest line. I just felt like seeing what they were up to, but then I, I immediately stopped caring the second I pressed the A button. Let's just uh, check out the other side of town real quick. Because this is the curiosity shop, right? Opens at 10 p.m. Okay, that's going to be open soon. You're right, dude. Hi. Welcome. What are you looking for? Uh, you to stop scratching. It's it's very very disconcerting. Guess that's what happens when you turn your shop into a fucking swamp. You're gonna attract the biters. Hello. Welcome. Uh, where's your mother? We're expecting to get a larger bomb bag and stock pretty soon, but now that I think about it, it's already late. Wait, is it time already? I mean, it's not. It's not, though, is it? Wait, does he just sell a bomb bag? Am I being a fucking dipshit here? God damn it. I was overcomplicating the shit out of this. Thank you. Bye. Fucking hell. <laughs> Come on now, Joe. Do better. <laughs> um And what were these places? I know we checked all this literally Oh Swordsman School, yeah, I wanted to do this. Hey. 24 hour one-on-one -on -one training to the end of the carnival join a special discount. So will you try it? Um, I'll take the expert course, please. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm too poor. I'm too poor to spend 10 rupees on the fucking training. Never mind then, I guess. Maybe next time. Post office. Hey! What an odd way to behave. <laughs> Four, five, six. Yeah. Whoa, you started my, start, startled me. Do not disrupt my training. In my mind, I'm running for exactly ten seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of mental training. You may make fun of me, but it is quite difficult. Will you try? Sure. Press A to start. Count ten seconds, and the precise moment you think you've hit ten on the dot, press A again. The time was 
Oh, almost. That was a close one. Uh, I'm just talking to myself. I c yeah, I, I mean, I think I was pretty close. Oh, he's charging me now. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I, to be fair, I got a bit disrupted there. I got a little, I got a little bit disrupted by a certain events at that point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Oh, I'm getting worse. I'll, I'll do this twice more because that's all I can afford. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What the fuck? I felt like I counted faster that time. <laughs> it ended up being slower. This game's hard. This is a hard game. Um, can I cheat this? I think even if I cheat this, like, I won't... Oh, hang on, I literally have a, a timer on how long I've been recording over here on the right. I'm gonna try and cheat with this. But we'll see how it goes, I guess. Too fast that time. Alright, I mean, I can't afford to try again. Two rupees is, is a bit steep for me, buddy. I've got to get something for doing that, but that is that is genuinely miserable. Like, I, I feel like I'm, I'm pretty, pretty okay, the fact that I'm within, like, 0.2 of a second most of the time. Oh, hello. Don't bother us. Okay. You know you're meant to be practicing a song to the tune of the Song of Storms though, right? As cool as this is and everything. How much time did I just waste with that? <laughs> this game could really do with just like a permanent clock on the screen. Okay, we're still actually nowhere fucking near any of that. Um, we can do some stuff in the inn now though, right? Yeah, he's ready to talk. Um... Was there something else? Oh yeah, uh... Yeah, we need to go to the, uh, to our room at night. Which it now is, because it's past six o'clock, and apparently that is night time in the land of, uh... I almost said the land of Pokemon there. The land of Zelda. I suppose it is when you're a tiny, tiny little child. It's not like Link sleeps, so... Back to the inn. I feel like we should be showing the uh, the mask to more people. Get some clue what's going on. There's a fairy up there. God damn, that's loud. The wind has gotten damp, Goro. Tomorrow is rain, Goro. Goro, Goro. Oh, so it's just a bomber. I saw something behind me and I was like, Ooh, what's this? Is this a person they've not spoken to? Nope. Have you been to Clock Tower Plaza yet? They are now putting together what is made... What? What? What has become the carnival's custom. It should be wonderful this year, too. I hope you enjoy our tradition. Don't know what that means. Don't know what that means. Uh, which was the... I assume it was this one, right? Hmm. The knife room, whatever the fuck they called it. Oh, you guys are in here now. <laughs> Did you meet the Rosa sisters, our fellow performers in the troupe? They're twins too. The twins just like us, can you believe it? I think they're practicing some more in West Clocktown right now. There are two sets of twins troubling in Gorman's troupe of entertainers. I mean, what are the chances? I say the chances are about one in a million. No, wait, make that four in a million. Ho 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 ho. Is that accurate? Is that... Is that accurate? Numbers. Put four in a million. The, the music man isn't here. 
and I can't find anything fun going on in my room, so I don't know why I came back. I don't know what I've missed. Maybe it's not late enough yet? Maybe it has to be like past midnight before something happens in here? There were several markers on the, uh, on, uh, An Andrew, is that what she's called? On her timeline? So, I don't know. There's been an awful lot of just not doing much today, hasn't there? At least I got the bomb bag at last, so we can actually go to, uh, to the mountains next time. In fact, should I just start heading over there now? Clearly not getting much else done tonight, am I? I kind of want to save the little old lady, though. I don't even know where she's going to be is the problem. I feel like they said the north part of town was the, was the shady one where she got mugged. Maybe I go there and just sort of hang out. The time limit for, for catching her is so small, though. It's such a tiny sliver of time. I assume she's going to, like, be somewhere. I can maybe follow her. Hi, what's your deal? I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. Ah, okay. So this is going to be the motherfucker who, mo who, who mugs her, obviously. Quite clearly. I don't know how she... why she ends up here, though. Also, why does the map say there's an exit? Oh, that's the... that's this. Okay. I'm dumb. Ignore me. Hmm... She's presumably going to come through here, then, right? She comes from the, the west side of town. Let's just see if we can track her down. Banger of a tune. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. Like, I can't even go to the curiosity shop. <sighs> Fuck. This is... The, the, the time. The time is such a thing. Wasn't there a song to... Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Um... That's it. I think this just, like, skips an hour, right? Oh no, it play makes time go faster. Oh no, no it doesn't. Okay, that's not what we want. Okay, alright, okay. We can, however, skip an hour by going into... No, we can't skip an hour by doing that, can we? That also advances to the next dawn. Fuck. I'm sure there was a way of just skipping an hour. Is it the inn? Is it the old lady in the inn? I'm so confused. I'm so confused by what to do in this game. I mean, I know what to do. I need to take my bombs and go back to the mountain, but to do some of these side quests is very confusing to me. Let's just do novice training while we're waiting. Before you draw your sword, I shall teach you the basics of an on combat. I shall start with sideways jumps after... Is this literally just tutorializing? Roll attack. Backflip. Horizontal cut. Oh, sorry, I did the wrong cut. I did the wrong cut. No Z target. Vertical cut. Thrust. Jump attack. This is the big boy attack. This is the one... This is the one that does all the damage, but you can never actually hit with. Okay. What a good tutorial. I feel very learned now. It's a shame I can't afford the expert course, because that might actually tell me something useful. 
don't think there's really any way of making money in town, is there? What is this building? Have I been in here? Lottery? Oh, maybe there is a way of making money. Should like to buy a ticket. Okay, well, fair enough, I suppose. Imagine having an entire shop dedicated to the lottery. <laughs> So when you know the lottery's making too much money. No, I didn't I didn't mean to do this. I didn't mean to do that. I, I apparently earned one rupee somewhere. Or two rupees in fact. Let's go back and, and try the postman game one more time. Yeah. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. This is gonna be perfect. Watch this flawless, flawless attempt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shit. <laughs> Literally my worst attempt so far. Oh, I, I get one free attempt every time I come in. I didn't realize that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, fuck. How close do I need to get? I mean, I know my first attempt was my best still. To this date, my first attempt was the best. And that was, what, 12 milliseconds over? Oh, what's this? Uh. Okay, I thought maybe that would tell me something helpful. Video mm. game. Video game. How do I how do I make everything work, video game? Holy shit, I've been recording like fifty minutes already. <laughs> I didn't realise I'd gone that long. I've just been sort of fucking dossing about in town. I, I guess I guess we save and quit then. I guess we wrap up here. That's. I apologise for not really getting anything done and just sort of meandering around. But I feel like I've learnt a lot about um, a lot of these side quests and stuff. And also got the bomb bag and a heart piece. So I've, I've done some stuff. It's just been a bit of a slow video and I apologise for that. Next time we will definitely go to the mountain and uh, hopefully save that little old woman first. Hopefully. We'll see. I'll see you next time.